Palak pa kasi ang dami natin ngayon. Ay, palak pa naman natin ang Panginoon. And this is our last week of Thanksgiving, di ba? Pero hindi ibig sabihin no na ngayong araw na lang tayo magpapasalamat sa ating Panginoon. Pero ngayong hapon, magpasalamat tayo for free to worship and to praise Him, di ba? Palak pa kanya natin ang Panginoon. Amen. Sabihin nga natin malakas, Thank you, Lord! Ayan, Amen. So, ayun. Time as we sing this song, let's sing this fully. At sabi natin kayo sa Panginoon, maraming salamat because we are free and He has found us. Let's sing Here in My Life. You're the reason 
Jesus, you're the reason. I'm kneeling to get at your throne. You are my freedom. Jesus, you're the reason. You're the reason You are my freedom Jesus, you're the reason Let's sing You are my freedom Jesus, you're the reason Let's continue worshiping our let's sing higher wider deeper Your love is deeper, 
It's the greatest of all The greatest of Your love is your love. 
is your love, is your love, is your love, is your love. Your love is higher than the skies up above. Your love is wider than what I can dream of. Your love is deeper. It's the greatest of all. So let's sing. Your love is higher than the skies above. Your love is wider than what I can dream of. Your love is deeper. It's the greatest of all. For the last time, youth, gusto ko marinig yung mga boses nyo. Let's sing your love. Your love is higher. Your love is wider than what I can dream of. Your love is deeper. It's the greatest of all. The greatest of all. The greatest. Of all. Let's pray. Panal marami salamat po sa hapon na ito na pinagtipon-tipon yung Panginoon ng bawat youth na ito, Lord God, upang sama-samang mapuro sa'yo. Thank you for the unlimited blessing. Thank you for giving us the voice, the willingness, the heart, Panginoon, to continue praising and worshiping you. Kung patuloy na sumama at manguna at maghari sa buhay ng bawat isang Lord God, patuloy yung sumama hanggang matapos ang aming gawain. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Let's read Genesis chapter 48, verse 1. Pinasbasa ni Jacob sina Ephraim at Manasses. Nabalitaan ni Jose na may sakit ang kanyang ama, kaya't isinaman niya ang dalawang anak na lalaki, sina Manasses at Ephraim, at dinalaw ang matanda. Tingnan si Jose, nagpilit siyang bumangon at naupo sa kanyang higaan. Sinabi niya kay Jose, Nang ako nasa lul, napakita sa akin ang makapangyarihan Diyos at binasbasan ako. Sinabi niya na darami ang aking mga anak at aking lahi. At ang aking lahi ay magiging isang malaking bansa at ibibigay niya sa kanila ang lupaing iyon habang panahon. Ang dalawa mong anak na isin isinilang dito sa Ehipto bago ako dumating ay ibibilang sa aking mga anak. Kaya tulad ni na Ruben at Simeon, sina Ephraim at Manasses ay magiging tagapagmana ko rin. Verse 6. Ngunit ang susunod mo mga anak ay mananatiling iyo at ibibilang na lamang sa lipi ng dalawa nilang kapatid. Ipinasya ko na ito, ipinasya ko na ito alang-alang kay Raquel na iyong ina. Nang pabalik ako buhat sa Mesopotamia, namatay sina siya sa Kanaan malapit sa Efrata at dinamdam ko ng labis ang kanyang pagpanaw. Doon ko na siya inilibing. Ang Efraim ay tinawag ngayong Bethlehem. Nang makita ni Israel ang anak ni Jose, dinanong ito, ito ang iyong mga anak? Opo, sila po ang ipinagkaloob sa akin ng Diyos dito sa Ehipto, tugon niya. Sinabi ni Israel, ilapit mo sila sa akin 
at babasbasan ko. Halos hindi na makakita noon si Israel dahil sa kanyang tandaan. Inilapit nga ni Jose ang kanyang ang mga bata at sila niyakap at hinagka ng matanda. Sinabi ni Jacob kay Jose, wala na akong pag-asa noon na makikita pa. Na makikita pa kita. Ngayon, nakita ko pati ang iyong mga anak. Inalis ni Jose ang mga bata sa kandungan ni Israel at yumuko siya sa harapan nito. Pagkatapos, inalapit niya sa matanda ang dalawang bata. Si Ephraim sa gawing kaliwa at si Manasseh sa gawing kanan nito. Ngunit pinagkurus ni Israel ang kanyang kamay at ipinatong ang kanan sa ulo ng, mag- ng nakababatang si Ephraim at ang kaliwa sa ulo ni Manasseh. At sila binasbasan. Pagpalain nawa kayo at palaging subaybayan ng Diyos sa paglilingkuran ni Isaac at ni Abraham. Nang Diyos sa aking nangalat, umatnubay simula sa pagkabatat, magpahasa hanggang ngayon man. At pati na ang anghel na sa akin ay nagligtas, pagpalain nawa kayo at tanggapin ang kanyang basbas. Maingat. Maingatan nawa ninyo at taglayin oras-oras ang ngalan ko at ang ngalan ni Abraham at si Isaac. Nawa kayo ay lumago, dumami at lumaganap. Nang makita ni Jose ang ginawa ng kanyang ama, minasama niya ito kaya't hinawakan niya ang kanang kamay nito upang ilipat sa ulo ni Manases. Wika niya, ito po ang matanda ama, sa kanan ninyo ipatong ang, kan- ang kanang kamay. Ngunit sinabi ni Jacob, alam ko iyan anak, alam ko, alam kong magiging dakila si Manases pati ang kanyang mga anak. Ngunit lalong magiging dakila ang nakakabata niyang kapatid. Ang kanyang lahi ay magiging dakilang mga bansa. Sinabi pa niya ito, ang mga Israelita sa Diyos ay hihilingin dahil kayo pinagpala, sila may pagpalain din. Sa kanilang kahilingan, ganito ang sabihin. Kayo nawa ay matulad kay Ephraim at Manases. Sa ganitong paraan, ginawa ni Jacob na gin, ginawa ni Jacob na una si Ephraim kay Manases. Pagkatapos nito, sinabi ni Israel, "Jose, ako ay mamamatay na, ngunit huwag mong mababaha, huwag kang mababahala. Sasamahan ka ng Diyos at kayo ay ibabalik niya sa lupain ng iyong mga ninuno." Last verse. Ikaw ang tanging magmamana ng Shechem na nakuha ko sa mga Aromeo, Amoreo, sa pamamagitan ng aking tabak at pana. Amen. Okay, thank you very much um, for reading and playing. Uh, today. Thank you, our music team, and then thank you, our leaders, for facilitating our youth fellowship. Um, can you see my PPT well? It's okay? Okay. Um, today I prepared Genesis chapter 47. Okay. Uh, if anyone asks you this question, how will you answer? Who is God in my life? Okay. Have you ever thought about this question? If anyone asks you, who is God in my life? Okay, second question. Let's just imagine that you are very old, like 80 years old, 90 years old. Last time I heard that uh, 124 Filipinas, young, uh, very old lady, who was born in 19th century, passed away a few days ago. You know that. Anyway, if you are very old, and then uh, you know that you will die soon. At that moment, what will I tell my child before my soon death? Okay, You sense that you will die soon because you're very old. And then what do you want to tell your child before you die? Like last words to your children. I ask this question, just imagine that you are still very young and even you don't have any child yet. Yes, because you are still youth. But just imagine that if you are very old, what will you tell your child? OK, 
Okay. Today, Genesis chapter 48 is about that, about the Jacob who tells the last word to Joseph because he know that he sensed that he's a soon death. So here, Jacob mentioned it to Joseph. Okay, I will read it. And Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Gnaan and blessed me and said to me, behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you and I will make of you a company of peoples and will give this land to your offspring after you for everlasting possession. So this is the promise, the God's promise with Jacob. And then now uh, he is very old. He like 147 years old like that. And then he tells that how, what was God's promise and then how he worked. So we see this one. You know that as God promised, these are seven descendants came from uh, Beersheba to Egypt, right? And then the Jacob, though he met, he, at 130 years old, he met Joseph. He never imagined that he could meet Joseph again because he thought that Joseph was dying, right? So, but in the middle of the famine, it is a very big crisis, but he met Joseph. It is a very big wonderful things that more than he expected and then he lived in Goshen more than 17 years so he could interact he could see the Joseph the close distance and then at this moment he tells that he recall what God's promise so these are things these are two parts is the evidence showing God's faithfulness because God promised him that I will make you a big nation and multiply you like that, right? So he did like so. And then he gave the blessing to meet his favorite son again. So these two parts show us it is uh, that how God is faithful to keep his promise, okay? The next part, this is the part that Jacob blessed Joseph and his son. Uh, he said like this, and he blessed Joseph and said, the God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walk, the God who has been my shepherd all my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the boys. In them, let my name be carried on and the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac. Now let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. So here, in the first part of Genesis 48, he mentioned God's promise. And then as we read the Genesis, we know that how God faithfully fulfilled his promise. And then now, because of his experience, he prayed for his sons like this. So here, it, these two verses tells us these three things, okay? In Jacob's life, the 48 verse three to eight, four and the 15 to 16 teach us the three things that who God was in Jacob's life. In other words, how did Jacob perceive God? How did Jacob acknowledge God, who God is to him? It is on his, it is based on his experience. So first of all, we see that God is promise keeper. As God promised him, God multiplied Jacob's life. That's why Jacob came from Beersheba to Goshen with his 70 family, right? 70 children and grandchildren. So we can see that God is a promise keeper. If God promised, he keep his promise. This is what Jacob learned in his life. The second part is God is a good shepherd. Whenever he was in danger, whenever he was tricked by his uncle, God was there to protect him in any situation. That's why he still survived at the age of 147. So he say that God is good shepherd who protects him. 
third one is for Jacob, he understand that God is almighty God. God is the one who can protect his son. God is the one who can bless him perfectly. He knew God's power. That's why before he died, he has no time to waste. At the very important moment, he mentioned that God is almighty God, please protect my child. Please take care of my child. Please bless my child. So through these three verses, we can learn that God is a promise keeper. God is a good shepherd. God is almighty God. This is what Jacob experienced in his life. So in Jacob's perception, Jacob perceived that God is faithful to his promise and powerful enough to protect him and bless his son in any situation. He go through, he went through the famine also, and he experienced that how God protected his son Joseph, and finally he met him. He knew that in he really experienced that God protected his son and blessed him in any situation. Thus he prayed to God to bless his son. How about you? In your life, who is God? Do you experience that God is a promise keeper, good shepherd, almighty God? I pray you experience it. And the next part is really last word to the Joseph. So he knew that he would die soon. So before he assumed that, Israel is Jacob. He told the Joseph like this. That then Israel said to Joseph, Behold, I am about to die, but God will be with you and will bring you again to the land of your fathers. Here, we knew that Jacob will die soon. But it is also true that God will be with him. Amen. So we have to remember that. What is it? Do you know what it is? The first one is A and then the other one Y. This is Alpha and Omega. What is the meaning of Alpha and Omega? Have you ever heard it? Alpha and Omega. Some of you will say what it is. And then this is a verse, Revelation chapter one, verse eight. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The Alpha and Omega means that the first and the beginning, and the first and the end, the beginning and the end. It means he was there, he is here, and he will come again. So in any tense, past, present, and future, he present. Everlasting God. So everlasting God in the covenant. Though Abraham died, you know that in Genesis, a long time ago, Abraham died. But God was with Isaac. Abraham, di Abraham died, so he cannot be with Isaac, but God was with him. Same. Though Isaac died, long time ago, Isaac already died. So he could not be with Jacob anymore. He cannot protect Jacob anymore. Isaac could not take care of Jacob anymore. However, God was with him. God was with Jacob and protected him from any evil. And finally let him meet his favorite son, Joseph. Everlasting God, Alpha and Omega. In the beginning, he was there. He was with Abraham. Though Abraham died, God is still there. And with, he was with Isaac and continued the covenant promise. Though Isaac died, he was, God was with Isaac. But when Isaac died, he was with Jacob and continued the covenant promise. Everlasting God. 
Jacob knew, Jacob knew it and experienced it. He saw that though Isaac died, God was with him and protected him and take care of him. Thus, Jacob confidently told that God would be with Joseph though he would die soon. It is the same with us. I want to be with my kids as long as possible. I want to be with you as long as possible. I really want to go back to the Philippines, but now I cannot be with you, though I want, but everlasting God, Alpha and Omega, he is there and he is here with me. He is with us, though I cannot be with you, though you cannot be with me. Jacob knew it, experienced it. That's why he prayed to God, Lord, please be with my son, Joseph. When Jacob cannot be with Joseph anymore, God can be with him. So I want to ask you again, who is God in your life? Who is God? What will I tell my child before my soon death? Can you tell like Joseph, I will die, but God will be with you. God keep the promise, God promised to multiply me and he really did it. That's why I pray to you, I pray to God, Lord, please protect my sons. Lord, I surrender my child. Though I'm not be with them, please be with them. What will I tell my child before my son death? I pray, I really pray, all of us to experience that God is the promise keeper, good shepherd, and almighty God. I pray all of us to be faithful enough to confess like Jacob when before we die. I pray all of us are remain faithful though we get old and we can confess that God is my good shepherd. God is my promise keeper. God is almighty God. That's why I pray to you. I surrender my kids. Though I am not with them, Lord, please be with them. I hope you, you live faithful life like that. So now, though our life is very tough, but you know, at the end, Jacob confessed that God really keep his promise. God really protects me. God has the power to do it. So I am now like that. God will make your life like that. So do not give up. Do not be frustrated. Remember Jacob. And then I pray you are faithful all the time. So faithing forward, who is God in your life? And what will you tell your child before you die? Think about it and remain faithful. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you very much for this wonderful day. Lord, thank you very much for giving us the freedom to read the Bible. Today in Genesis 48, we see that how Jacob confessed that who God is. We confess that God is a promise keeper, good shepherd, the almighty God, who can be with our children. And then who can be with our youth, though I cannot be with them. I promise and then you promised us to protect us. Lord, as you promised, please protect them. Take care of them wherever they are. And the Lord, help us to be faithful like Jacob until we die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, amen. So, yung tingin ni Jacob kay Lord is, yun nga, yung sabi ni Samonim, which is promise keeper. So, tinitingala niya si Lord as promise keeper, as God shepherd and almighty God. So, kayo kaya, anong tingin niyo kay Lord? Kaibigan lang? Yun lang? So, but always remember na, Kung paano tignan ni Jacob si Lord, sana ganun din natin tignan si Lord. So, and I want to remember, I want you all na i-remind sa inyo na let's pray also to, our, to for our parents. Kasi hindi natin, hindi nila tayo pinapabayaan so that ipag-pray din natin sila. Hindi lang sila yung nagpe-pray para sa atin, but also let's 
pray for them. So, ayon. So, now let's stand up and prepare our heart with our offering to God. dalawang kamay. Ayan. So, lahat dapat pumalakpak. O, oh, palakpak tayo lahat para sa Diyos. Ayan. So, thank you so much. So, pwede na tayong umupo. So, nakikita niyo ba may bago tayong dating? Ayan. So, welcome natin si RJ na bagong dating friend nila. Ayan tayo ka muna, RJ. Ayan. Ayan. So, welcome. So, I hope, we hope na makita ka namin next week. Ayan, thank you so much. So, for the announcement. So, number one is Merry Christmas. So, ilang last week na ngayon ng November. So, papasok na yung December which is Christmas season na. Ayan, so, um, we are happy na makasama kayo. Ayan, so, number two, social distancing with your mask is what we can do to do worship in God's together. So, ayan. So, keep your social distancing and yung face mask natin. So, so Le Lord's Day worship at 10.30 a.m. So, every Sunday, meron tayong 10.30 a.m. worship dito sa church. And 2022 calendar, you may get three calendars. Two for your family and one for your evangelism. So, so meron tayong free calendar. Kung sino hindi pa po nakakakuha, So, mamaya po sa baba. So, lapit lang po kayo sa akin. And then, please pray for the donator for our calendar and for every soul who will read acceptance in prayer. Ayan. So, so kung sino pa po ang calendar, you can come to me and I'll give you. So, pray po tayong lahat for our Lord's prayer. So let's recite it our full heart. So, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And so, may merienda po tayo sa baba. Amen. Ayan, so. Picture, picture. Pasko na. Pasko. Ay, Kuya B. Hello, Jumo. <laughs> Hello, Sin. Hello, Christine. Okay, picture, picture tayo. Hello. <laughs> Oh, lah, makan dana makan. Oh, lo, okay, picture, picture, one, one, come on, come on, come on, one, one, two, three, go. Yes, I got you. Bye, guys. Hello. Bye, bye. Sige, ingat kayo lahat. Merry Christmas. <laughs> ingat. See you again. Bye-bye, Paul. Yeah, see you again. See you.